Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. You're about just becoming the watch now. I reacted to the news that she's pregnant with her very first child and expecting a newborn baby. It was just some days ago that Bukumi revealed that she married secretly and kept everything on the wraps. She had a white wedding and a traditional wedding. Before she took to social media platform to share photos and videos of this wedding ceremony. Not just fans, but her colleagues and followers and everyone were left in shock when they saw the photos and videos of Bukumi's wedding ceremony. It is indeed the top secret of 2020. And this fast rising Yoba actress says she loves to keep beautiful parts of her life off social media platforms. And just some days after she shared the news of her wedding ceremony, a popular blog has shared the news that Bukumi is also expecting her very first child. Bukumi and Washina got married to her long-time boyfriend. They have been dating for 11 good years. This was what she reviewed when she shared the photos and videos from their wedding ceremony. And she also defined what love means to her. She says, love is patience, forgiveness, never giving up. And above all, it's not just about buying a woman all the luxuries in the world, but about making her happier and more relaxed than a woman who has all the luxuries in the world. I remember 2010 when we were leaving, and I told you to give me something to hold, to always remind me of you. Then you gave me your wine wristband. I told you I would keep it forever and maybe wear it on our wedding day. You laughed and said that if we don't end up breaking up when we enter university and you start meeting better guys. It's 11 years now and I've met a lot of men like you said but haven't. I will never stop choosing you over everyone. I remember when I told you I was going to study theater art. You never liked it but you know how much I loved it. So you came to like it too. Just to see me happy. I don't even see the need to call people for screenplays because your contributions to my story constructions always help me get the perfect stories for most of my movies that end me at words. Thank you for always supporting and standing by me and watching me grow even when nobody knew me to now. I still wonder how a day never passed that you wouldn't call me for the past 11 years. Even if you just saw me two hours ago. Even when we fight, you will still call. Have you eaten? Where are you? You know how you make me feel sometimes? Like the only girl in the world. Just like your name, your gift to me. My dad once said, the day we learn how to fix a thing when it's broken, instead of throwing it away and buying another, is the day we will learn the secret of an unending happy marriage. Thank you for the endlessly holding on, and I want you to know that whenever I tell you I love you too, I hope you know what I mean. I mean I love you more than all the fights we will still have, all the things people will still say, all the mistakes we will still make, all the side chicks that may still cross our lane, both in good and bad days. I love you whichever way. And forever isn't even long enough for me to show how long I want to love you. My treasure, my best friend. Cheers to forever. And she was also filled with gratitude and prayers for everyone because of the show of love. And she said, dear Lord, before this year is over, let's people have reasons to gather and celebrate everyone who celebrated my marriage with me. Everyone who typed amen. Thank you all for the love. This is how I feel like hugging you all right now. God bless you and all yours. And... We love you. The news of Bukumi being pregnant and expecting a lovely first baby was shared by Juice Lover blog. And they also wish that a safe delivery. Well, one thing is for sure, Bukumi is a very private person. And that was why she hid her marriage from the public for a while before she finally shared the news. So she would really love to keep her private life private. However, she has said she claims it. And not rebuking this news sharing. She, however, prayed for everyone and says, this news, however, was surely leaked by someone in a close camp. But we say it will end in praise in the name of Jesus. And congratulations once again to Bukumi and her husband. Bukumi Luashina has always been very open about her keeping a private life and having a private wedding ceremony, a private love life, and a private everything. And over the years, even though she has not hid the fact that she was in a relationship, she never brought him to social media platform. And even till now, she still never reviewed his name, just some lovely photos of him, and still trying her best to keep a private life. And for Bukumi, she chose not to date anyone in the movie industry and even get married to anyone in the movie industry because she does not like to mix work with pleasure. And of course, Bukumi over the years have been very vocal against baby mama syndrome, even though she likes children. There was even a time she wrote in response to the growing trend of baby mama. Bukumi wrote an open letter to her future husband indicating that she would never consider being a baby mama. This actress revealed that her mother never taught her to be a baby mama or a nursing mother at a tender age and she advised 
a would-be man in the letter to work hard, as she was doing at present. She also wrote on the platform that some of their children would love fancy things like she did, adding that she and her future husband should be ready to afford such niceties of modern times so their children may they eventually arrive. The actress also disclosed in this letter that their kids will learn, watch, and know what being a father and mother entails as well as what being a mother and father looks like. Also, they will understand what genuine parental love, a home, and family looks like. This was what she wrote in the open letter. Dear future husband, hope you're good. Above all, I hope you're also working hard like wifey. I have a feeling that some of our kids will like designers. For those ones who would take after their mother. So dear, please double your hustle and let's work harder. Because I promise to give our would-be children the best father. We will always stay, love, teach, care, and grow with them, just like my own father did too. My mother never taught me how to be a baby mama. My mother was never one. I don't pray to be one either. Not even any of our daughters. I pray we all grow up together so our kids will learn, watch, and know what being a father and a husband is like. What being a mother and a wife looks like, where we must have given birth to them. You will understand what genuine parental love, a home, and a family looks like. I want us to be their definition of life forever. Yours in advance, future wifey. And over the years, Bukiri Washina has been very vocal about what she thinks love is. Love is love when two people never give up on each other, no matter the situation. Love is love when two people stick to each other, true thick and thin. So this year actress is among the actresses that they became popular and in hot demand from their very first movie. Her first movie, Ayom, even won her several awards and nominations, including the 2015 African Magivia's Choice Awards in the Best Indigenous Movie Yoruba, the Best of Nollywood Awards, BN Awards, Maya Awards, and ACI Awards. Actually, Bukumi was also known to have partnered with Pepsi, AVF, and Vivas for the premiere of Ayomi. The movie was so popular abroad that fans from outside the country requested for the tra- requested for the soundtrack of Ayomi. This movie, Ayomi, was one of the most trending movies for a while. Ayomi is my joy. It was shot in July 2014 in Lagos, Nigeria, and officially released into the market on the 21st of September in 2015. It was also this debut movie of Bukumi's that shot her into the limelight right after producing this mind-blowing movie. She also produced this movie whilst she was still a student at the Obafemi Awolowo University and she was in her final year. Also as a talented playwright, Bukumi has written a few more movie scripts including A Story Like Mine and Uluwe among others. Also, Bukumi has featured in several blockbuster movies including Excursion, Mudebi Olami, Any Test, Pinch, School Life, Christ, Voice, Citation, Hey, and several other blockbuster movies. So we are saying congratulations to Bukumi Luashino on their wedding and also expressing their new bundle of joy. We have come to the end of this episode. We hope you enjoyed it and let us know two new things, subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.